is no greater tragedy in our modern culture uh, than abortion. And the Planned Parenthood videos that have started to come out uh, made by the Center for Medical Progress have brought abortion to light in a whole new way in our culture. Um, I want to speak to young women and young men, people of all ages, about abortion because it's something that people have been duped by our society into believing that um, babies, fetuses, are clumps of tissue. If it wasn't for these heroes going into Planned Parenthood, um, not, we wouldn't be um, able to see this footage. I've seen a lot of pictures of aborted children and those are devastating enough. But to see the people in these videos, um, when the guy asks, are there any specimens we can see and he means aborted babies, the lady laughs loudly and she smiles and she says, we've had a long day, they're all mixed up together in a bag. And that is so piercing to see someone say that who has been so misled by the lies of the enemy as to what um, a human being is, is just an absolute tragedy. Um, and to see them in real time picking apart the pieces of a human being, um, this is something that we've never seen before as a society. Um, after the fifth video came out, the one where the guy picks up the baby's arm with the tweezers, I, my world was absolutely rocked and it had been rocked by the initial videos but when I saw that it was absolutely rocked and I was making a salad that night and I just lost it I lost it I just started sobbing and saying God where are you in this where are you in the tragedy of abortion I just felt God saying this is me doing something about it giving these people the means and the courage to go in and expose this in order to bring light to this is me the work of the enemy is keeping this under wraps, it's keeping it hidden, but I am the one who is um, giving this, this Center for Medical Progress, you know, the funding and the means um, and the courage to go in um, and release this footage to the world. So I know that God is present in all of this um, and I just encourage people to A, um, watch the videos, um, and do something about it. I'm always, especially after these videos, trying to ask myself, what can I do um, to continue to educate people on the reality of abortion so that one day it does become illegal. Um, but we also have to provide the love and care that these mothers need. There's so many young women, um, women of all ages, who, who feel like abortion is the only way and they need to be loved um, by us who call ourselves Christians. So there are many places other than Planned Parenthood that women can go for their medical needs and all those kinds of things and that's being brought to the light as well and I'm grateful for that. But we need to have love for the mother and the child and come from a place of love when we have this conversation, not a place of condemnation um, for people who are pro-choice because so many have been misled, but having loving conversations face to face with people about this issue so that people in our modern world can understand the gravity of it and the tragedy of it and start to change their minds, change our culture, and therefore change the world.